Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 21, today, verses 10 and 11. So let's read them. He Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. So Jesus is starting to give a list of, of different uh, features that the uh, disciples wanted to know. Hey, what are going to be the signs of the end of the age and all this? And Jesus begins to give them the signs here, and he's listing them out. All right, the first sign was deception. We talked about that the other day. But now he talks about there will be wars between nations, okay? So that's, you say, well, that has been around for quite a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Yes, it has. It's not going to end anytime soon either. Uh, there will be great earthquakes. So great earthquakes and everything that goes with them, tsunamis and all that, that's going to happen. Well, you say, well, that's always been. Yeah. Yeah, that's been around for a while, but perhaps in the end there will be a higher concentration of them. Jesus gives it as one of the particularized signs. Then he talks about pestilences. Well, there have been some pestilences in history, but uh, today they're messing with the food supply all over the place. You think that could result maybe in some kind of a vast, remarkable pestilence? And also the population of the earth is, is becoming very great. So might be looking, peeking ahead here. I hope you can get used to... Uh, Maybe less less calories, you know, less less carbs, because you might not be eating as much when these pestilences come through. And what else do we have here then? Also, our warnings about fearful sights and great signs from heaven. There's just a lot of stuff that's going to come down. But all these things are kind of partway signs. They should make us alert and aware, but we should be willing to trust in God and watch. Because the real thing means, the real thing is the change of our heart. We need our hearts to be changed. Men are going to get worse and worse. Uh, we know other prophecies from Paul about that. So lots of stuff is coming down the pike. And you know what? It feels almost like right now, kind of like we're already quite a ways into this business. Because there are changes that have come in the last few years that we haven't, somehow we just kind of thought we wouldn't have to ever have to experience those things. But we're looking at some pretty intense times ahead. What's the sure thing we can do? Read the Bible, draw close to Jesus, ask him to have his desires, the desires of God, become the desires in your heart. So when we see these signs, uh, don't be discouraged, be encouraged. God's going to get us all through there. But don't be, don't be too, too wrought up about these signs. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for giving us these signs through Jesus. People asked and Jesus told them the answer. And so bless us, we pray, watch over us. Be our leader, and thank you, Lord, for hearing our, our prayers. Thank you that we know we can trust you to take us through those end times, and in Jesus' name, we give thanks to you. Amen. All right, that's the truth. God will get us through these intense times ahead. He will bless you and bless you and bless you if you just come to him.